The next communication I had with anyone at the state regarding Mr. Alvarez occurred on April 24th, 2018. Heather Taylor, Chief Ethics Officer for the state, told me that the state could not take any action because Mr. Alvarez and I were not state employees at the time of the sexual assault. The administration took this position even though I continued to have to work in Mr. Alvarez's presence, both during the campaign and after, when he was employed first by the transition team and later by the administration. Once again, no action. Once again, my voice went unheard. I heard nothing further, and I still sought justice, and I still wanted to stop Al Alvarez from assaulting again, and I still wanted more for the survivors of New Jersey. I thought that if any administration could make progressive reforms, it would be this one. And so on the evening of Friday, June 1st, 2018, I emailed the governor and first lady, Tammy Murphy. I asked to have a meeting with one or both of them about a sensitive matter that occurred during the campaign. I did not indicate that my sensitive matter involved Mr. Alvarez. Within the hour, Governor Murphy responded, we know you well, hang in, we're on it. I felt a glimmer of hope. Governor Murphy included his scheduling team on his reply and invited me to contact him or Ms. Murphy if they proved not fast enough in scheduling a meeting. Governor Murphy did not ask what I was referring to when I said sensitive matter. No meeting with the governor or first lady Murphy was scheduled. But rather, that same weekend, Jonathan Burkon, an attorney from Perkins Coie LLP, who served as counsel to the campaign, contacted me and advised that Mr. Alvarez would be leaving the administration and state employment. I asked why. Was Mr. Alvarez being fired? Was he voluntarily leaving for another position? In a follow-up call, Mr. Burkon would only say that he can't reveal the reason for Mr. Alvarez's departure because it's an HR matter. Based on Mr. Burkon's representation, I believed that Mr. Alvarez was leaving employment with the state of New Jersey in June 2018. However, in early September 2018, two months later, I learned that Mr. Alvarez was still actively employed with the state of New Jersey. As a result, believing that I had exhausted all options of reporting Mr. Alvarez's sexual assault to members of Governor Murphy's campaign, transition committee, and administration, my only power left was my voice. I told my story to the Wall Street Journal.